Welcome to Tuesday evening, Mid-Missouri, here after 5.30 p.m. when we're recording this. This is what our ABC 17 StormTrack Doppler radar looks like. We're dry here in Mid-Missouri with a few passing showers and thunderstorms to our north and the east. This should largely leave us alone. We're more concerned with this low off towards Oklahoma City and this complex of showers and storms rolling through the high plains here, uh, parts of Colorado, northwestern Kansas, western Nebraska. That activity is going to make a beeline for us tomorrow morning, and then this low will move just to our south. And those two things will have a big impact on our forecast for Wednesday. Here's a look at our forecast for Wednesday. Starting maybe around 5 a.m., likely a little bit after for most of us, we're looking at our rain chances starting to bump up a little bit. We're looking at our most widespread rain coming in the mid-morning to late morning hours and then tapering off around the afternoon. So this is largely a midday rain chance with a focus on mid-morning. And uh, those rain chances will come with an isolated strong to severe storm. I know uh, right here you can see we're in a level 2 out of 5 risk, the yellow encompassing all of mid-Missouri. Missouri. And this isn't as scary as it looks. We'll have a very isolated chance for strong storms. Not everyone will see severe weather. What will be more widespread will be the rain chances. And while not all of us will see widespread heavy rain, we'll see widespread rain and cloud cover enough to keep us cool tomorrow. Uh, this will largely, again, as I mentioned, be morning focused and we'll be tracking a few strong to severe storms or possible uh, with this round. There's going to be kind of two main rounds. We mostly just get round one. Round one will have that again chance for an isolated strong storm throughout the morning. We're looking at relatively low instability. And then as I mentioned that low moving up from the south, there's going to be a warm front tied to that and that's going to really kind of house round two mostly to our south and that will pass off towards southeast Missouri and that's where the best thunderstorm chances will be the best severe chances I should say uh, severe threats for tomorrow especially here in mid Missouri our main concern is going to be strong wind it's I still expect it to be an isolated threat uh, but it's a more it's a higher likelihood than just about anything else here on the chart we can't technically rule out tornadoes or hail but Really, neither of those are as likely as some gusty winds from some of these storms. And, of course, the ground's still somewhat saturated. We could have some minor flooding where we see some really heavy rain. But let's walk through this on future track. We're dry tonight. Again, that activity to our north and the east leaving us alone. As we get towards 5 a.m., again, most of us are dry. That statistical chance starts about 5 a.m. for some of us in the west. But future track, painting is dry until about 8 a.m. And then activity starts to arrive. We're maybe looking at this low from the south and the west and that complex of storms from the north and the west arriving here and kind of combining over mid-Missouri. You'll see widespread showers and a few rumbles of thunder here. The severe risk is low, even future track kind of struggling to paint out some strong storms, although it does try here uh, in a couple of spots. We may have a few strong storms in the south and to the north, uh, kind of two boundaries there that may kind of feed into that. Overall, though, we're looking at a lot of widespread rain, cloud cover, and that's going to keep tomorrow kind of dreary feeling, kind of gray. Uh, and it's for that reason we aren't issuing an ABC 17 storm track weather alert day. The severe threat's not widespread. It's pretty localized. Uh, it should be an isolated threat tomorrow. And then this activity starting to wind down as we head into your, your late afternoon, early evening. A few spotty showers still possible out there. And then we're looking at maybe a bit of a cool down Thursday night into uh, early Thursday morning. Here's how much rain we could see late tonight. Well, I should say tomorrow morning. We won't see rain late tonight, but tomorrow morning uh, we're looking at uh, rain potentially missing us to the north and the south, at least the heaviest rain. This is where we'll have the best chance for some strong storms, but also the heaviest rain. Uh, we're looking at maybe a widespread less than a half an inch in between, uh, and that's just the latest model run. This is going to move around a little bit, but that's a pattern that we're seeing. Looking at the next seven days, well, we've got some more sunshine and spotty rain chances in the forecast. Again, it's going to be pretty cloudy and wet on Wednesday. Thursday, we're looking at more sunshine and then heading into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We've got some spotty rain chances. The temperatures, they're back up in the upper 80s with those spotty chances for some showers and thunderstorms before we cool down somewhat into the mid 80s for Sunday and Monday.